a weak start to the year so far in Asia and also in Europe. As you highlighted, a weak set of data out of China overnight. That manufacturing print slipping just into contraction territory below that 50 mark, which separates growth from contraction. And while it is only just below that 50 mark, the data has raised concerns about not only the external demand picture for China, but also the domestic picture. We saw new orders and new export orders shrink in December. So raising concerns around the whole picture surrounding China. Now, if we look at some of the moves that came on the back of this data, the Shanghai Composite, the mainland China index down over 1% on the news. But that weakness did spread beyond just mainland China. We saw losses in Australia, losses in Korea, as well as in Japan. And now shifting over to Europe this morning, we've now seen trading over the last few hours. That weakness is filtering through, and it has been a negative start to 2019 here in Europe as well. Well, the worst performer of the regions in Europe so far, the French index down nearly one and a half percent. But I will say the losses that we are seeing now in Europe are more muted than the earlier moves. So we are seeing some of these losses pared back. I want to highlight in addition to the weak data out of China, we also had a raft of European economic data this morning that confirms that growth momentum is slowing. We had the Eurozone PMI print as well. The December print came in line with the flash estimates, but again signaled a broad-based slowing across Europe. France came out as one of the weak points. The economy there is being impacted in large part by what's going on politically with the Yellow Vest movement, uh, the, the Yellow Vest movement impacting the December economic data. But across Europe, we are seeing a cautious start. In addition to China, in addition to Europe, European investors are also very closely watching what goes on with the Federal Reserve. So putting all of that together, it is certainly looking like a cautious start to 2019.